All right, let's go ahead and graph some linear equations today. And we're gonna do that just with the key features of our equation. So first thing we need to understand is that a linear equation is simply y equals mx plus b. And if we remember back to y equals mx plus b, uh, the b value is just simply the y-intercept. And that is where it crosses the y-axis. And the m value is our slope. So this is going to be our slope. Uh, just as a reminder, slope is rise over run or the change in y over the change in x. So how much we go up, which is our rise, and how much we go over, which is our run. So let's look at the first one real quick. Uh, just paying attention to the details of it, our b value is the number that is off to the edge here, and that is going to be our y-intercept. So uh, our b value is a y-intercept, and that is going to be negative one. So the uh, y-intercept uh, equals negative one. And I'm just simply going to go to the origin. I'm going to count that down. So I'm going to go down to negative one. After I have that, I'm going to go to the slope. Uh, the slope in this case is negative two. So m equals negative two. Now you'll notice that our slope, which is right here, is rise over run. It's a fraction. So we have a rise over run. If I want to write negative two as a fraction, I'm going to write it as negative two over one. And so we're going to have a rise of negative two and a run of positive one. And so that's all we're going to do. Rise of negative two just means we go down. So I'm going to start at the point we have. I'm going to start going down one, two, and then I'm going to go over to the right one positive spot. And then I'm going to follow the same pattern. So I'm going to rise two with uh, negative two, which so means I'm going down two, one, two, and I'm going to go to the right one. Um, and then we can backtrack that pattern, and you can see it in steps. So we can continue that pattern. Now, once we've done those points a few times, then we can draw our line. So this line right here is just simply through every one of those points. And this is the graph of y equals negative 2x minus 1. So let's do another one. Uh, and it's nice and easy. We do the exact same thing. We find our uh, y-intercept. So in this case, negative 2 is going to be our y-intercept because it is the constant. It does not have a variable on it. So I'm going to go to negative 2. And I'm going to start at the origin. I count down two spots, 1, 2. And put a big old fat point right there. And then I'm going to go to the slope. So let's go to the slope here. There's our slope. M equals 3 over 2. Notice it is already as a fraction. So it is already in the form of rise over run. So our rise is going to be 3. And our run is going to be positive 2. And that's how we're going to do it. Rise 3. This time the 3 is positive. So I'm going to count up 3. One, two, three, and then I'm going to run two. It's a positive two, so we go to the right. One, two. And then we go up three again. One, two, three, and over two. And then we backtrack those steps. So you can follow those steps back to continue any additional points we want to put on there. And then we just draw a line straight through there. Okay, and so this right here is the line for y equals 3 over 2x minus 2. All right, y'all, I hope that helps you graph lines just, be, just by using the key features of a linear equation.